Then all of a sudden, this guy comes out of the bushes out of nowhere, takes her spear and says, Can I have it? Can I have it? It was red. Like, that's how much blood. Hey guys, it's. I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday. <laughs> is it Thursday? Yeah. Okay, it's Thursday morning today. I didn't get very good sleep last night. I have a lot of noceum bites and fly bites, so I think I was just itching my bites all night. But I made some coffee and I'm trying to get my ish together, you know? I have a video that's exporting, which takes forever. I made some coffee. I'm sewing up bikinis, you know. <laughs> this is the real life. It's because we lost so much weight on our crossing because we didn't eat for four days. You think that's why I had to sew up my bikinis? No, we can't even fit in our clothes anymore. And I got my cult leader pants on. No, those are pretty much wide leg pants that had like this material on it. And I want to sew like a, what do you call it? Serenge? <laughs> it's not a serenge. It's a... You know, the skirt things that tie around over your bikini. Oh, a sarong. A sarong, yes. Yeah. And he took the inner layer of the wide leg pants and put them on. And now I told him he looks like a cult leader. This is my cult leader outfit. But. Which it's actually kind of inappropriate, I feel like. Why don't, why I'm doing this? Why don't you tell him? We have a story we got to tell you guys what happened the, yesterday while we were trying to film the outro of our getting to the Bahamas video. Tell them, Matt. Okay, so I go, we go out to do some filming, take some pictures and things like that. And I take, of course, my, my uh, Hawaiian sling with me and things like that, just in case I want to hop in the water and shoot something. And uh, we have this guy... I guess he's kind of like the crazy guy of the island. Um, there's probably like some mental illness involved. But he comes up and just kind of starts shouting at us. He was like, oh, can I take your spear? Can I take your spear? Can I take your spear? And he basically wasn't taking no for an answer. And uh, so I thought maybe he just wanted to, because he seems kind of homeless. So I thought maybe he just wanted to take it, go spear fishing, and maybe he would bring it back. He was chopping up some grass or some or some leaves, and he got grass on his face and he cut scary. his hand really bad and was like bleeding everywhere so it was just a kind of a chaotic weird thing we were kind of in the middle of filming and things so we were a little bit you're making it not sound so dramatic he's making it seem not that dramatic basically i'm taking photos in my bikini then all of a sudden this guy comes out of the bushes out of nowhere takes our spear and says can i have it can i have Covered it in blood. and then there's blood dripping down his hand and then he goes into this spot in the rocks and like starts washing his hands the whole puddle in the rocks of water that comes up from the ocean was red like that's how much blood and then a vulture came flying down this is not a joke this is not a movie a vulture came flying down smelling his blood that was soaking in there and i was like this is like some scary nightmare movie but okay so keep going with the story so that now we're back on page of how dramatic and how scary this was yeah, I wasn't terribly scared. I was just thrown off by the whole thing. So anyway, he's kind of talking in like this kind of broken Spanish, or not broken Spanish, this like broken English that they, they speak down here in the island. So I can only understand a little bit of what he's saying. And uh, so he basically just takes the spear, walks off in the woods. I'm not going to like get tangled up with this bloody Bahamian guy. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's just going to go fish and he'll bring it back. So I haven't seen him the next day. And then I asked the guy, and he was like, yeah, he, like, really loves the fish. You asked other guys in town. Yeah, I asked a different guy in town. I said, hey, you know, this kind of crazy guy took my spear. Is there any chance I'm going to get it back? And he was like, no, because you're going, like, he, he likes to protect the fish. And he gets, like, if people catch fish on the dock, he'll just run up and throw the fish back in and then take off running into the woods. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, you're never going to get that spear back. And then I talked to some ladies this morning, and they were like, yeah, he doesn't like the spears because he. I guess some kids. The story they told me was that some kids were like shooting doves or something with a, with like a pole spear, and he got shot. He was laying in the bushes and he got shot with a pole spear. So he's like scared of spears or something. So basically, basically what this guy does is if you put a knife down or a spear down, he just takes it and throws it in the ocean. Just throws it away and that's never to be seen again. Which makes sense because the first time I dove here, I found like three pole spears just out there in the middle of the water, and I was like, man, this is weird. And uh, so, but one guy gave me some intel and he said that if I buy him a cigarette, 
maybe he'll give it back because the guy loves to smoke but only smokes cigarettes so we're gonna go find a, a lucy today at the corner store and we're gonna buy him a cigarette and see if we can uh barter for my shaft back on my hawaiian sling so we'll see stay uh we'll stay focused on trying to get that back what do you think babe what are our chances I feel like, how are we going to go find him? We're going to go forage the bushes looking for this guy? No, he's always around. I see him like every day. Uh -huh. But we'll see. We'll see what we get. So we got some eggs. My first time having natural eggs. Uh, ew, it looks like there's something nasty on the outside of them. <laughs> Anyways, we got some natural eggs from the little local shop that looks like someone's house, which we're gonna go there later today. So we're gonna show you that too, cause we gotta get some other grocery items for a future video. But they're like green and brown and I'm scared that when I crack them, there's gonna be a baby chick in them. So we'll see. We'll see, hopefully they're like really delicious and I'm gonna get hyped on them. So they're not bad. I'm just gonna scramble these up and then I'm also gonna keep this because I might get some more from the shop because they look pretty good. But guess how much six eggs are? I think, how much are they? 250? I mean, it was like three bucks. Three bucks. Like three bucks for six eggs in Andros Bahamas. They're just so brightly colored. I've never seen such bright eggs before. They, like I would compare them like if you thought of Bart Simpson's head. That's what these eggs look like to me. The Simpsons. <laughs> Matt's over here trying to layer as much trash on our pet. Our poor baby. And she's not even moving. Is she dead? <laughs> so have you guys ever seen those videos where you restore like swords and stuff and knives and stuff like that? Well, let's just say Matt went down a bad trail one day on YouTube and now he's doing weird things like he cut this old knife that I have trying to make his own weird fillet knife show them so I only have this one fillet knife this little guy here and it's just not big enough for the fish that I kill I can't get all the way through those big fillets with it when I'm peeling off the skin so I had this old butcher knife that we found along our travels and I said Sha! I pulled out my grinder and I made a flexible fillet knife. But does it work? Let's see. If it works, it's gonna be a cool guy alert. Oh yeah, look at that. Clean cut, boy. I this... don't know. I'll have to see you actually fillet a fish with that. Alright guys, so we're walking out now and it's about a block. There's this grocery store that the locals told us about that looks like someone's actual... It looks like someone's house. You wouldn't be able to tell. It's not on Google Maps, but it's literally like a block from where the Driggs settlement is where we have our boat. So it's pretty cool. It's a really small place though. We're going to show you about the groceries. We need to get some stuff. We're hoping there's produce. There might not be though. Yeah, the boat just came in yesterday, so we're hoping there's some produce here. And then if not, we'll have to adventure around the island until we find some, because we need it. We need milk too. There it is. because we got to show what we need. We need... What are you getting? I was just looking for like milk. I don't see it. <laughs> All right, 
I gonna get my spear back? Got the cigarettes from Mama Gladys. <laughs> she said, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our spear back with these cigarettes. <laughs> So we got one onion, two limes, green pepper, orange, two small tomatoes, one medium tomato that Mama Gladys donated to us. She took care of us. She said, I'm going to bless your child. She's going to give us that. And then we got six eggs. And I almost messed up. I grabbed the white eggs, being the American that I am. I grabbed the old white, the old white boys. And the guy was like, these are duck eggs. And I said, oh no, <laughs> I don't want the duck eggs. And uh, he said you can eat them, but he said they're better for like baking. They're more, uh, they're thicker, I guess. So I said, no, no duck eggs for me, chicken eggs. So he helped me out, really friendly guy. And uh, so what we want you to do is guess how much this, you think this costs. And the day after we post this video, 24 hours after we post, we'll comment down below. And I don't know, does the winner get a shout out? We yeah. high five the winner. And the winner, whoever's closest, gets a shout out. We'll shout you out in the next video or in the next videos to come. Um, so do your best, see how much it is, and we'll see who got the closest. All right, so I see my buddy that took my pole spear. I got my cigarettes, my palms. I'm gonna go see if we can barter to get that pole spear back. You all right? Hey Manny, how you doing today? Great, you are? Good, you all right? Alive. Did you find my spear? I ain't find it yet. When, like I, when I go back, when I go back over there, check, check, check it, check it, check it for you, yeah. Yeah, you like yeah. to you like to smoke? Uh, no man, I doing no smoking today. You I can look me for a Bible to do some preaching next week, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well I was I was your day. It was good. I wanted to go fishing, but well, I didn't have a spear. That didn't buy thank God that you're still alive, man. You know, trust in, in God and it wouldn't be being bad, you know? And have faith. You know? Job had faith with God. Okay. You know? Yeah. Sounds good. Mm. But hey, if you have my if you have my spear, I can give you some cigarettes for no, it if you man, find I it for me. I didn't bomb with no cigarette, you know? You can have it. It's not bumming. You can keep it. You can stay. <laughs> I thought you'd like to smoke. I smoked them next time. How much you got in there? I got two. Two? I got two you can have if but, you... But you can keep that too, you know? I'll buy a whole... I'll buy a 20 more. But yeah, yeah you, but you can keep that. If I can just get my pole spear back though, because I got to go fish, man. You see how much weight I lost? I'm Jesus hungry. Jesus said, make your fishes up, man, as you follow me. You know? I gotta shoot a man? I was, I just, I was just like David, you know? Money. As, as, as I killed Money. Goliath, I was yawning and meet him. Money, uh. money. Uh. He said he, he can't go fishing because he, you, you have to give him a spare. Oh, uh, uh, well, I'll check that next time. When you go out there. Benji, go out there. Go out there. And you have, me? I can go with you, come back. All right, Manny. Thank, Thank you, you. I'll see you tomorrow. Go out there with you. All right, Manny. See you later, buddy. Well, that didn't go too well. <laughs> but at least I got a hug out of the deal. And it looks like maybe you got one too. But uh, we're not giving up. We're still going to get that pole spear back. All right, so Brian, the guy that gave us the diesel, told us to come over to his resort today. He's actually like kind of famous in Canada. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but he has a TV show here in the Bahamas that I believe airs today. We're not the only people uploading. It's called Island of Brian. On HD TV, right? HD TV Canada. So Canada. if you're Canadian, you know, for all our Canadian friends, if we have any, shout out to y'all. Check out our boy Brian. Should be a really cool show. We're going to his resort that he is building. It's a Cerule Lamar, Cerule Lamar. I, I don't know right. how to say it. I'm terrible at French, but it's some sort of French word, something about deep blue sea, deep blue sea in French. And uh, yeah, he has Wi-Fi, so he was generous as he always is and said to come use the Wi-Fi to upload our video today. So here we are tracking it, as you it's can see. It's about two miles from where our boat is anchored out, not anchored out. At least two miles. It seems like a little bit okay, further than I that. I heard something. In All right, bush. 360. Anyway, so it's pretty hot. This As you is can the road. see, we're out here in the <laughs> desert in the middle of 
It's not the desert. Hell and nowhere, but we got some road sodies. You got your road sodies. So, you know, we're hoofing it, drinking a little bit. Shouldn't take too much longer to get there, I don't think. No, it'll be fine. And I'm excited to see what it's about. Especially if they have like a whole camera crew there. We met them at the bar last night, so. Yeah, we'll inter see how it goes. interesting people. Alright guys, so we're leaving soon, probably in the morning. Um, we did have a good time here on Andros, I feel like. Yeah, I'm glad we came. The people here were really awesome, the water is beautiful, even though I guess you could say I got robbed for that pole spear. I'm not that <laughs> upset about it, the guy had his own, uh, what's that called, convictions about spear fishing and things like that, so even though I'm out of shaft, you gained three more though. I did find some out there. That he probably already threw in the water. But mine was a lot better though. These are like those little cheapos, so mine was like uh -huh. a legit hitter. But it's not a big deal. So we're going to Norman's Key. That's the plan. It's a little bit north, uh, northwest obviously from where we're at now. So we're yep. going to be heading out there. It's going to take us about a day. I think she's going to do most of the sailing this time since I did most of it last time. And I'm just what? Gonna... I don't think so. And you don't give me enough credit, you jerk. And I'm just I did a back. lot of work. I got one headache and I was out for the count. But besides that, I did a really good job. I mean, honestly, I think you. I agree with you 100%. However, I feel a slight headache coming on. So you're going to be holding down this whole set. That's oh, fine. I do better than him anyways. So we plan on going to Norman's Key and then going down the Exumas. So there's no grocery store so Matt caught a few fish today to stack up and we're going to be heading off. A few more projects. I'm excited to see what the next location has got for us. So we'll see you guys next video. Stay tuned. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoy these day in the life videos or if you hate them. You know let us know if you hate them too. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe and comment and like and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.